will rise from the sun-baked south. We will rebuild, reconcile, and recover. And every known nook of our nation, in every corner called our country, our people diverse and beautiful will emerge battered and beautiful. When day comes, we step out of the shade of flame and unafraid. The new dawn blooms as we free it. For there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. Wow. Welcome back to DBL. That was Amanda Gorman performing her original, original poem, The Hill We Climb, at yesterday's inauguration. Now, you'd never know it, but Amanda has a speech impediment, which she had to overcome in order to deliver that poem so flawlessly. Here's what she told GMA about it. My speech impediment wasn't a stutter, but it was dropping several letters that I just could not say for years. Most specifically, the R sound, which it would take until, you know, probably I was 20 to say, meaning that I couldn't say words like poetry or even Gorman, which is my last mm. name. And I had to really work at it and practice to get to where I am today. And Amanda was also on Anderson Cooper last night. Let me tell you, she left him speechless after telling him about her mantra she recites before performing. Take a listen. I close my eyes and I say, I am the daughter of black writers. We are descended from freedom fighters who broke their chains and changed the world. They call me. Hmm. Wow. Um, wow, you're just, you're awesome. I'm so transfixed. You, you, I mean, for, for Anderson Cooper to be trans, I know. He's usually, you know, he's ready. He's two steps ahead. And she leaves people speechless, Al. And I don't say this often about certain people, but when I saw her perform that poem, the first word that came to my mind was anointed. This is a gift for all of us right now because she somehow was able to um, describe what we're all feeling. Yeah. Well, Sam, and this, this might sound like a slight to her, but it's really a message of hope. She's not the only one. This younger generation is coming up and they are so much more evolved and nuanced. Jeff, I'm sure you see it with your kids and you look at like where you were at Lawson's age. You know, I was watching uh, Wonder Woman with my son uh, the, when it uh, streamed on uh, Christmas Day. And I was, I was like, how'd you like it? And I thought he was going to be like, it was good. And he was like, well, I, you know, they lost me with, with the subplot, with the whole business <laughs> aspect to it. And I almost <laughs> fell out of my chair, just like Sam just did. And honestly, the, the, these kids are so much like more evolved than I was and that we were at that age. I think that she, she's a bigger reminder that us as the older generation, even the I'm above you as even millennials, need to kind of let go of the reins a little bit and let them get ready to lead because that's the future right there on the podium, even though she seems like a kid because she's 21 years younger Yeah, than she's me. 22 years old. It was incredible. Real quick, I wanted to show you the ring she was wearing, gifted by Miss Oprah Winfrey. Wow. It's a birdcage and it's meant, and the hoops are from Oprah too. Uh, Miss Oprah said it's because of uh, Maya Angelou and she wrote I know why the caged bird sings she is a famous inaugural poet at Clinton's inauguration on the left that's Robert Frost at JFK's doing a poem uh, I just wanted you to know poetry is a huge inauguration uh, history to it and she nailed it Jeff what did you absolutely Tori Jeff what did you make when you heard her uh, speak well you guys are going real deep about everything and what it entails I mean, I'm looking at surface level and what a talent and how amazing this young woman is. I say young woman, she's 22, but how amazing it is. The, I think poetry is so incredible. Mm -hmm. The inflection, the up and down, captivating the audience, bringing them in, pulling them out. She did a fantastic, fantastic job. We talked about it yesterday and now going a little bit more in depth of where she came from and how she is where she is. It's fascinating. She's, she is a true talent. And yeah. Jeff, really quickly, speaking about getting out of your depth, randomly I ordered a book of poetry last week before I even knew she was speaking. It's by an author named Sarah Kay, and I heard it on a podcast. It was recommended, and I just bought it. So, like, randomly, I bought my first book of poetry in probably two decades, and now here we are on the show talking about poetry. And by the so. way, her books are number one and number two on Amazon today. Is my number three? No. Gosh, Al, got to make everything about you. Oh, okay. I'll just right checking. Back. Oh. <laughs>